Welcome to Northwest Profiles, a look at people, places, and events of interest in the Inland Northwest. Art that speaks volumes. Works from Joan Cardinal Schubert, one of Canada's better known contemporary artists. Usually uh, what I do is I seduce the viewer with color or texture, or something that doesn't make them feel alienated, and then they look at the piece first. And then when they look at it, they see the different layers of information. And uh, after I get them to look at it and I get them involved in it, then I've got them. You know, and they will look at things that I have to say. By specializing in art that has something to say, this Calgary-based artist usually isn't at a loss for words or visual metaphors. I've been working on a series of works that deal with the um, song One Little, Two Little, Three Little Indians, because the song ends and then there were none. Yeah, I think I'm talking about the unborn child there, you know, like the, the, the future. After these children, you know, what is the future? Children from this generation have all these chemicals in their body, you know, what is the effect on the next generation? Well, we know what it is. It's not surprising Joan has developed her work in accordance with her upbringing. She was the middle child with seven siblings. Joe Cardinal, her father, employed as a game warden for over 30 years in the Crow's Nest Pass area, decided to move his family to Red Deer, Alberta, where Joan was born in 1942. I think what my parents did is all the time you know, as I was growing up, they noticed things about each one of us that pointed in a particular direction. And uh, they sort of helped us along. Really from um, strong ties and connections and loyalties and trust that we developed as children, we stood up for each other because we were one of the only Native families in the school system in the small town I was born in. And so we defended each other and looked out for each other. Joan has become a voice for anti-racism from her works. Her outspoken nature may seem caustic, but her inner demeanor is steadfast and sure. Racism is something Joan has been forced to deal with, being a woman of native ancestry. She doesn't mince words speaking about it. I found that the most powerful medium is text to write, um, because people tend to believe what they read and uh, Although it hasn't served Native people that well, I, I decided to turn it around and use that medium. And I started really using text on my paintings and drawings and etchings. And then I started writing on walls. And it was just this metaphor of, you know, writing on the wall. You know, it was as simple as that. And then I started making the walls into blackboards because I wanted to take over that authority of the, you know, that we all go through as children. We sit in a classroom, the teacher writes on the blackboard, and we think it's the truth. So I just appropriated that um, teaching method in my installation pieces, and I made another blackboard with another truth on it, the way I, as a Native person, saw what the truth was. Okay, this piece is called The Lesson, and it's obviously a schoolroom, and it has to deal with the reservation schools, the residential schools that Native children were forced to go to, taken away from home when they were four. And very often they were um, placed very far away from their homes so their parents couldn't visit them. And so um, I wanted to expose this. And so there are 10 chairs here because we're always looked upon as the 10 little Indians because of the song, I guess. I have an apple with a screw hook in it. <clears throat> this is what happens to Native people when they get an education. Their own people tell them they're red on the outside and white on the inside. And the screw hook is like because we're screwed. And This is uh, the real history of what happened to Native people. And in a way, I'm becoming the new teacher. And the, the, this cultural baggage suitcase here. You know, people talk about bearing crosses. Well, this is mine. Art in conjunction with words, labels, racism, fear, discrimination, words that lie beneath much of Joan's work. I'm always asking questions. I'm finding out more every day about who I am, you know, the people I come from, how do I fit into this world, and I have a lot to say about that. 
A self-proclaimed multimedia artist, Joan has chosen to work mostly with acrylics on the canvas, her striking images sprinkled with unique combinations of color. What is it that makes me want to take a blank piece of paper and make strange marks on it or put paint on it? You know, I've thought about that a lot because really, if you think about it, it seems like a very futile occupation <laughs> to think that, you know, someone would even be interested in looking at all of these things that come from kind of a personal base, but then are interpreted. I think that over the years I've worked, I've worked so long that I have developed what I consider to be like a visual vocabulary. I think that's all wrapped in, in, it's wrapped up in my childhood, and it's wrapped up in my personal experiences, and then, you know, who I am, the people I belong to. So it's all kind of wrapped up in that. Um, but it's a contemporary uh, look at the world. Joan's steady ascent in the Canadian art scene has made some lasting effects dealing with artists and issues, igniting thought and discussion related to Native themes. At some point I, I learned that uh, people actually want to hear what you have to say because it's different and we're all different. There, there's much more uh, visibility of uh, Native people in the arts and in literature and in film. And it's coming a long way, but it's really slow. And I think that the, the biggest problem we have is fighting the stereotype that exists about us. You know, that kind of imposed um, label, image about who we are, you know, and it's, it's kind of a snap-on thing that's it's imposed upon us by other people who think that they know more than we do about who we are. I think I do art because it's the best thing I could do. Um, I also, yeah, I thought about it a lot about when I was a child and why certain things were very important to me. And they're all things that revolved around art making or selection of color or texture or moving things in a room, you know. It's, it's quite amazing. I, I guess it's, I've always done it. I just didn't look at it as being art. If you have a topic for Northwest Profiles, send it to KSPS TV, 3911 South Regal, Spokane, Washington, 99223. Northwest Profiles is a presentation of KSPS Public Television.